But today's a bit nerve-wracking because I'm not going to be the one driving my car. I'm going to be filming today completely and um, I'm nervous. So, yeah, Natalie's gonna be driving today. We're here at the Suzuki Club again. We're at a place called DeVault, and we are doing level one training today. We're gonna see how easy the Jimny is for somebody who's A, never driven the Jimny, and B, never off-roaded at all. She has zero four by four experience. She's only been on three trips with me, and let's see if how she goes. I'm so scared, but it should be a whole lot of fun today. And with a whole array of beautiful new and old chimneys lined up in the parking lot, we were sure to have an exciting day ahead of us. But first, Reyna wanted to walk the driver through some basic 4x4 theory and a couple of unique tips and tricks for the chimneys. Armed with a the theory, it is now time to put it to practice. Pull that one off. Point five. And that's going to let it go down a bit. show you what's going to happen next. I'm going to make you used to tilt so that you get that feeling of how the car is going to react. And remember, it's under strictly controlled circumstances. The obstacle course at DeVault is designed to take you through all the different types of challenges one might encounter out on the trail. And with someone like Reno walking everyone through the stages, showing them step by step what to do and how to approach each obstacle, it really built up people's confidence. What's gonna happen if you keep yes. And teaching everyone that momentum and control are the key to good 4 x 4 knowing how to harness the right amount of power for the obstacle and, as many people say, take it as slow as possible but as fast as necessary. I think having a safe space to learn and test your vehicle's capabilities is fantastic in the beginning when you're just learning how it's all done. Let's see what your feet are going to do. Let's walk. Getting to actually walk and see the obstacles firsthand gives you a better sense of what is in store and also gives you a lot of respect for these little vehicles. Hey, I'm not going to crash your car. <laughs> we'll be fine. I trust you. Now it was time to play. With most people, this was their first taste of proper off-road action. And I think the combination of nervousness and excitement is just fantastic. It's moments like this that remind us all of the immense joy that can be had with your vehicle. Driving through extreme axle twisters, steep side banks, and inclines, and even a bit of wading through water. Most of the course was a breeze, building up everyone's confidence, but when the final obstacle arrived, it would certainly challenge most, especially having such a steep gradient. 
This one is all about momentum and has very little room for error. It's okay. You saw everybody else do it, so. Exactly. You're gonna be fine. Okay, okay. You've been playing my mind lately. Turn it around. Once I thought you were mine, baby. We're safe and sound. You got me waiting. I'm on fire. You got me waiting. My desire. I wasn't too surprised that Natalie struggled on this one because there's just a level of comfort that I've developed with my vehicle over all the trips and driving it every day. And for her to come in on the first day and have perfect understanding of clutch and power band would be a long shot. But I'm still super proud of how well she did throughout the first course. Our next couple of obstacles would take everyone's newly gained confidence and skill and put it to the test in some tricky challenges. This was the perfect time for Natalie to get back on the horse and prove to herself she can do it. Luckily, an obstacle like this is a cakewalk for the Jimny, as solid axles allow the wheels to flex through these cross axle ruts with ease. And although quite a steep gradient, the Jimny has more than enough grunt to push through. And damn, does it look good doing it or what? Yes, girl. Yes, girl. <laughs> I'm glad we did this. I'm glad you are challenging yourself. It's amazing how these little vehicles can flex and move over pretty much anything. And note that a couple of these Jimneys are completely stock. So don't think you need to make all the modifications to your Jimney in order to enjoy it. It's a highly capable vehicle, all on its own. <laughs> Jesus! Did you get him? <laughs> <laughs> It was time for me to claim back the wheel of my Jimny and have a bit of fun for myself, especially as we started heading into some more dangerous obstacles. One of the obstacles, known as Gerdse Club, has seen many a heavily modified vehicle roll but also many a stock 4x4 just walk up it. It's very much so a driver-dependent obstacle. 
where keeping a steady foot and the right momentum is essential. Reno does it beautifully, setting the standard. My attempt starts out pretty well, but then I end up losing a bit too much momentum in the climb. So I safely stop the vehicle and try to give it a little bit more gas. Eventually making it over the rocks and up Ga the club. I'm glad I gave it a go. Not only did Natalie challenge herself today, but I also managed to do the same. It's not always easy to hand over your pride and joy to someone who has never done this type of driving. But she did really well today and proved that I have nothing to worry about. So, how was today's training? I think it went awesome. Uh, everybody was happy. The people have learned a lot about their personal capabilities as well as their vehicle's capabilities. And you could see the difference as they arrived, the first obstacles they've done, the nervousness, and at the end of the day, everything just fitted together and they had a blast. And they can go and enjoy overlanding, trails and that, safely. How was Natalie's driving? Natalie was a big surprise to me. When she arrived this morning, she was like jittery, close to crying from the nerves because she was totally out of her comfort zone. And yes, we've taken her through, calmed her down, and you've seen, she's done difficult things successfully because she listened, she didn't pretend to know better like most gentlemen do with respect, uh, but she's done extremely well. You can be super proud of her. I know I'm super proud of her and I had to fight her to be able to drive my own car at one point. She was busy grabbing the keys, running to the car, getting in on herself and going, no, you're gonna sit in the passenger seat now and see how it feels. So for her to have that level of confidence is an incredible thing. And I'm, I'm very grateful for Reyna's support today with all of that. He's very patient with everyone. And we've got Uwe Bobby here as well, who's our own personal Santa Claus. <laughs> so, I'm nervous, yes. Hi. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling really good right now. Super chilled after the braai. Yeah. But and how was your 4x4 training? It was very scary. Yeah. And it takes a lot of work. I had to unlearn seven years of driving on the road. Wow, we have had quite an adventurous day. I think Natalie has had the most adventurous day. We've had some ups and some downs, some triumphs, some failures. This is what this kind of lifestyle is about, you know, it's like you struggle and you succeed at the end. You know, it's about challenges and challenging yourself and going through frustration, but coming out at the end of the day, learning a new skill and being more confident than ever in your own abilities. And we saw it a couple of times today. People were nervous. No, I'm not gonna be able to do this. No, no, no. And with guidance and you know, like Reno is an amazing, amazing teacher. He's got so much patience and he really knows how to like communicate with people and you know, help them out the way that they need to be helped. And we saw some pretty incredible stuff today. It was a lot of fun. And I think Natalie had a whale of a time. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Rome Overlanding. If you want to keep watching these videos, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. You can also enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Just in case you didn't know, I have over 25 videos covering the whole journey of Rome Overlanding. So head over to the main page and see if you want to binge watch a couple of episodes.